Hi everyone, we are back with 10 quick questions on the go. Please take advantage of our format, which allows you to progress through the questions at a pace suited to your students' needs. Let's begin. Question one, rewrite the sentence with the correct punctuation and spelling. There are some very serious mistakes made in the spelling and punctuation in this sentence. R listen carefully as I read it. Foods such as nuts, tofu and cheese have calcium in them, which is very good for making your bones strong. Note the pause between the list of foods there so you should know that you put a comma in there and uh, see how you go question two a sentence or a principal clause it's sometimes called is a group of related words containing a subject and a verb rearrange these words to make a clause or sentence being fed full stop have not the dogs yet. And just remember that a sentence can also be called a principal clause. We'll talk more about clauses later. They don't always have a subject. And there are different types. Question three. Unjumble these words. The words in the box are spelled correctly to help you. The words in the box are disappear, pleasant, necessary, understand aquarium question four homophones are two or more words that sound the same but have different meanings or spellings e.g. right and right the right way to do something and to write a sentence which of these words are homophones in other words which of these words can have homophones or words that sound the same but have different meanings or spellings to, to ring, to which, to mother, banana, bacteria. Some of those words do not have homophones. Write the ones which do. Question five, rearrange these words in alphabetical order. Crowd, organization, afternoon, house, daughter. First, you would look at the first letter of the word then if there are two words that start with the same letter then you would look at the second letter if a word starts with two letters that are the same you would then look at the third letter to see which alphabetical order according to the alphabet they come in question six what time does the teacher's clock show right now what will be the time in 24 minutes from now. We left home at 4.45 p.m. 4.45 in the afternoon and drove for two hours and 15 minutes. What time did we arrive at our destination? Question 7. On your calculator, which symbol is used to reach these numbers? In other words, what do you do to in the first one to 162 to get 162? What do you do to 155 and 46 to get 109? What is the operation you do to 99 and 11 to get 9? Question 8. Complete each missing decimal fraction on the number line. There is a sequence there. You have to work out what it is. What is the rule? Question 9. Write the date of Australia Day. What season is March in? Question 10. Rashid was saving up for a book that cost $8.30. He earned $10 from helping his grandmother in her garden. Did he have enough for the book? If so, how much change would he receive? I would like to see when you answer that question. The question is, how much change would he receive? I would like to see you write the answer as 
he received, then write down how much change, and the sentence would read, he received so much change. Put it in a sentence form. That way, your teacher can be very clear on the answer you have given. So that's the end of the 10 quick questions a day on the go for today. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment to our channel and head over to the website for more workbooks and resources for teachers, parents and kids. Bye for now.